Welcome everybody. Sunday. Sundays are no good. The only thing I'm good about Sundays is football. If you're into that. But anyway, it's windy out. It's just kind of a crappy day. But anyway, I'm gonna make a. There goes it on pork shoulder roast, I believe, on the smoker today. Um, I kind of seasoned it already. So sorry about that. But I did use the salt pepper mix, you know, uh, equal parts. I use for you, what you usually use for briskets. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and we can take a look at this bad boy. There she is. As you can see, I got it seasoned up with salt and pepper, and I used a mustard binder. It's not very big. It's just maybe three, four pounder of fat. I just figured I want to tinker with something today on the smoker. So that's the choice of meat today. I got the smoker behind me. Okay, there, set to 225 degrees, and it'll be on. I just turned it on, so we gotta wait till it warms up. And we'll get this baby rolling. So, catch you back here in a few minutes. All right, all right, all right. We're back. Got my cool shirt. Got a big pumpkin on it. I'm ready for Halloween. I got the front of the house decorated, but I, I made a Georgie. You know, if you've ever seen uh, it. It, it the movie, you know, of Pennywise. Little Georgie in there, the little red, little uh, yellow raincoat. Yeah, I made one then, but it's freaking windy out right now. I can't even put it outside because it blows over. So, whatever. So I figured I'd putz around the smoker today, like I said earlier. But anyway, the smoker is up the temp, so we're gonna get the meat on over there, you know. Alright, I'll meet you over there. We got the slab of meat on. I'll turn turn the camera around and show you what got going on here. Here she is. All seasoned up, looking pretty. We're gonna cook this at 225. We're gonna leave it go for about an hour and then we'll come back and check on it. Yes, and yes, it is a bone in. You can see the bone in there, so it should help keep the meat nice and tender. Uh, we're just gonna give it a whirl. It should turn out good, but what everything else. Catch you back here in about an hour. Alright. What's up? Welcome back everybody. See I got my Pitmaster Brewski sweatshirt on. Hoodie. Love it. The facial hair is getting longer. Looking good. But anyway, the pork roast with the bone in has been on for an hour an hour. So we're gonna give it take a sneak peek and see how we're doing. Shall we? Oh yeah, look at that. Side view. See the bone right here? Looking good. I don't know if you can see it or not. We get up close, see the juices. I mean, I don't have to spritz because it's staying pretty moist with the fat and stuff on there. I didn't I didn't cut any fat off. It's rendering down by itself. But it's looking really good. So we're gonna, from the looks of it, I'm gonna let this go for another hour, and then we're gonna put it in a wrap with some uh, butcher paper, and then we're gonna treat this just like a, a pork butt or like a brisket. So we're gonna let it go until it gets to a certain look, and when I feel it's ready, and then we're gonna put it in a wrap and continue on from there. But anyway, there she is. I'm gonna close the lid up and let it go for another hour and then we'll, we'll be back. Another hour and 45 minutes. Alright, catch you then. What's up everybody? We're back. It's been on there for like about two and a half hours now. At 225. It's looking really good. Um, we're gonna wrap it now in some butcher paper. So let's have a look and see what we got. After two two and a half hours or so. Look at that. That is beautiful. Looking really, really good. So, what I'm gonna do now is get some butcher paper ready and then we'll bring the meat over and then we'll get it wrapped up. Alright, there it is. Just sitting on the butcher paper. Got some butcher paper. Here, right here. Meat huggers. Works really good. So, what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and wrap it with, I got one sheet here. 
go ahead and put a second sheet over it just to make sure it's good, good and sealed shut. And then we're going to throw it back on the smoker, so let's get it wrapped up. There, there she is. All wrapped up, nice and, co nice and cozy in the blanket. Let's go ahead and get this baby back on the smoker. Right, there we go. Back on the old smoker. All right, you still got it set at 225. We're gonna go let this go now for another hour. And then we're gonna check for temperature and then probe it and see how tender it is. So we're gonna go for an internal temp of like 170, 175. That's what, we're, that's what our goal is. So I'm gonna shut the lid and uh, this baby cooking. Hi. So yeah, we're gonna let that go now for another hour. Now I'll we'll check it out and see what kind of temperature we're at. And go from there. So stay tuned. Be back. What's up? What's up? What's up? Back. Been on an hour in the wrap. And now it's time to uh, check the temperature. This. Thermal Pro. That's what I use. I don't, I don't really trust the probes that come with the smoker anymore. After getting this, it's way more accurate. So let's open the lid up and give us a, maybe a check. Look at that juice is coming through the paper there. Basically, basically all you gotta do is take your probe right in there like so. Then obviously get a reading. Alright, 154-ish. So it's not even close. I mean it's getting close, but it's not close enough to being done. We're looking for a 175-ish temperature. So yeah, we're gonna close the lid back up and keep this baby rolling. So, catch you back here in probably another hour. Why, hello there and welcome back. As you can see, it is dark. Imagine that, right? Well, it does get early, dark earlier now. It's getting closer to winter. Therefore, the sun goes down earlier and it gets dark. So, anyway, our uh, pork, uh, Solar thingy roast is done. I got I just turned it off. We're gonna let it chill out for just a few minutes and then we're gonna un unwrap it and uh, check it out. So don't go too far. And I'll be back. Alright, welcome back. In front of me right now is the pork shoulder. Pit boss for approximately two hours. Yeah, about two hours unwrapped at 225. And then we wrapped it in a butcher paper. And I probably had it on there for about two and a half hours. It's, once it hits 170, you're good. So depends what you if you want to turn it up. Get it done faster, I'll power it to you. But I kept mine at 225, and then right at the end, like the last few minutes, I turned up to 250. So I wanted to get it done. Goodbye, because it's freaking dark out, and I wanted to eat and go in the house. So it did help a little bit, but not, not much. But let's switch the camera around, and I'll show you what we got. Cut a slice right here. See the smoke ring? Really good. So what I'm gonna do now is turn the camera on again. And if you can see it, oh, I'm just, you, if, if you can see it, great. If not, I'm sorry. So, oh hi, I'm back. But here I got my slab, the piece I cut up. All I know is that this bastard is very, very 
tender and juicy. And it tastes amazing. Just with salt and pepper. That's it. That's all I use. With a mustard binder. So, I'm just saying. Anything's possible. You just gotta take the time to do it. So, that said, it's Pitmaster Grisky. With another backyard cookout. I will catch you hopefully soon with something new. I'm trying to get gathered up. But anyway, you guys have a good evening or day, whatever time zone you're in, and I'll catch you next video. Bye-bye. Oh wait, like and subscribe, please. All right, good night.